Hey everyone, I'm Shaz Jones and I'm the host of Bible Hacks podcast and I'm really excited today to be joined by my guest Katie Gonzalez. Welcome Katie. Thank you so much for having me sister. God bless everybody. <laughs> That's very cool. So Katie, where are you coming from? Where are you located? Well, I'm from the Dominican Republic, but right now I live in New York City with my husband and my, my three kids. Ah, start spreading the news. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> ah, what's it like going from the Dominican Republic to New York? Was it a bit of a culture shock or? It, it was a big change. Um, my, my husband, he brought me here about 14 years ago, and that's when I that's when all, everything started from there. It was being like 14 years and it has been an amazing journey, you know? Awesome. Oh, that's really yeah. cool. And what do you do with yourself in New York, Katie? Well, I help women uh, achieve health and wellness with accountability. So I work more, work more with, you know, accountability, you know, to help women, you know, on health, um, weight loss, uh, you know, anything related, you know, to health and, and wellness. I mean, my, myself, I'm not a doctor, but I am a accountability coach and I, I love helping women. Okay. So all about the physical body, is that your main thing, like a doctor? Yes, you know, okay. like body confidence, you know, like um, going, you know, a healthy, you know, healthy lifestyle and, you know, doing the exercise, 20 minutes, 10 minutes, you know, it's not like, you know, like like a big thing, like, you know, like following you know, the, the right thing, you know, to be healthy. Right. And are you, do you have um, a home business or in the corporate world or are you like a serial entrepreneur? What do you do? Yeah, I'm an, an entrepreneur. I have, ah. can have like, my uh, own. <laughs> Awesome. Yeah. Well, yeah. our Bible Hacks audience that's listening right now is made up mainly of entrepreneurs, also some business owners, some pastors, leaders, speakers, writers, authors, coaches, but most of them self-identify as entrepreneurs. So we always love meeting a new entrepreneur. That's very cool. And, yeah. and when you work with um, women, how, how do you help? Is it just women? It's just women for now. Women. I want to, you know, so start how with do women. you help the people that you help? Well, they come to me when I would kind of do the interview. Was um, the outcome you want? Like, uh, you know, depends. You know, on the on the how. But I work more with you know, I got to be, I work with with a, a doctor or a weight loss coach, and we we work as together. You know, as a group, and you know, yeah. I'll be looking at the, the accountability part. Right. Okay. Yeah. Okay then. And so is it any particular type of women? Is it just mothers or just entrepreneurs, just leaders? Like who is women who over yeah, women over 35. It doesn't matter any 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 age, yeah. Oh, okay. Why yeah. 35? That's interesting. Why is that? I'm, the I'm 37. So. <laughs> Okay. When I when I started my you know, the entrepreneur thing, like I I was 35, so about two years ago and then I don't know 35 now <laughs> ah okay that's yeah. interesting because I I noticed a lot of changes in my body around 50 and yeah. um people younger women would say to me oh you know blah, 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 and I'd say oh just wait till you turn 50 like <laughs> I think when you've lived that experience you want to help other people right so yeah. that's really good that yeah. you do that absolutely I want to help people you know women like me you know like oh. Struggle. <laughs> like yeah. That's good. Yeah. I saw it on your website, um, on his website, maybe um, Facebook. Um, I did a lot of research for you, so I can't remember exactly where I was seeing different things. But uh, this, is, this is a quote I help women to live their healthiest lives without stress. That's yes. so cool. I feel like just my shoulders relaxing, taking a deep breath, just just hearing that, that there's someone out there in the world who wants to help me live a healthier life without stress. So yeah. that's beautiful. What does that mean to you? Well, for me, when it comes to, to you know, live without stress, we got, we got to be you know, gotta be um, praying. That the praying. This is the most important thing. When you know, we pray to God, and for me, you know, that's that's that. I release my stress, and I, I know a lot of you. You know, also, you know, I know a lot of people. You know, struggling right now. You know, all that's happening right now. But we gotta trust the Lord. He 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 got us, and He protect us, and we shouldn't be afraid of anything. We're not gonna pray to God, and He got us. You know. 
trust the Lord. <laughs> yes, Katie, I think that's so good. Like particularly, you know, since COVID started and, you know, war in Ukraine and, you know, talk of recession and stock market, there's so many things that are going on that could make people stress. And so to know that we have Katie Gonzalez on the case to help <laughs> us get rid of that stress, that's just awesome. I'm really happy that you're in the world. So what what sort of results do people get when they start working with you? Like specifically, can you just paint us a picture of what it looks like um, when they, you know, have worked with you? Yeah, well, they come uh, with a specific, you know, um, problems. And like I shared before, it's not only me, like a, it's a, like a group of, you know, doctors, you know, the, the doctors and another doctor and accountability coach. So they come with different, you know, problems and, you know, we we'll help, you know, uh, as, a, as a group, we'll, you know, we we'll help, you know, the, the person that wants to get help, you know. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. And so with you, did you have, uh, like, do you have a story of you getting this result or how did yeah. you start working with this? Well, um, I know that a lot of you, uh, you know, struggle, you know, like when, when it comes to health, uh, when it comes to weight loss. And I, I have a question for you. Like, uh, my struggle is like, I, I will be always being in struggle, you know, with sugar craving. And uh, I, I wonder how many of you listening and watching, how many of you, you know, would like to crush your sugar cravings? That was my 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 issue. Can, that I, can I put both hands up? But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so, so I wonder, you know, how many of you have have ever, like, you know, Sharon, myself, including myself, and, and I'm I'm trying it today a little bit, if it's okay with Sharon, how to reduce sugar craving, increase your energy, we need that energy without having, you know, to drink so much coffee. <laughs> I, I mean, I'm, I'm a huge fan of coffee. I usually, you know, drink uh, like five, five cup of coffee, but now I reduce, you know, uh, as everything's about... It's not about the probation, it's about moderation. So okay. we're gonna be showing you uh, today how to how to how to do all that, you know, and stop hating your body because you got we gotta love out the body, you know, that the God gave us, you know. Wow, okay. So what what was your life like before you discovered this? When you were still struggling with sugar cravings and things like that? What what was your life like then? Well, I remember I was I was home and I was I'm trying you know, to quit sugar craving, and I, I the sugar craving was so bad that I couldn't handle it myself. I felt in the probation. I felt I have so many headache, um, so many chills. Like I couldn't resist anymore any longer. And I I, I wonder you know, how many of you have ever felt like that. Like you you want to try something, and, and you know, and 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 I realized. It's not about, like I said before, it's not about deprivation. It's about moderation. And, you know, you you only fell when you stopped trying. So you got to keep going. But it all changed one day when I went to an event. And I, I know you know Joy and Eileen. That was a few months ago that I met them. And Joy and Eileen, they were they were sharing uh, 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 in the Bible. They were Ephesians, it's okay for sure, uh, Ephesians uh, 422, where it says, you you were tough uh, with regard to your former way of life to put off your old self, which is being corrupted by its deceitful desires. That the, uh, the uh, Joe he showed an exercise about you know like um the two versions that we have uh, that we have to put off that that the old version and you know become the new version that that we are you know that we can do anything that we put, we put in life and. No, that's pretty much that. That day changed my life, and I, I had like 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 two percent ladder, you know, when I wanted to do things that are out of my comfort zone, and then I, I talked, to, I talked to her, you know, myself, like, oh me, you know, the the comfort lady that like that like comfort thing that don't like to be, you know, like uh, you know, you know what I mean. <laughs> I do know what you mean, and that is just an awesome scripture. I just yeah. like I'm writing notes. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we have to. We all have an old version of us that we yes. need to put off and Actually, we have yeah. a new version and sometimes we can think well that's just so far away but you know Paul when he's writing that he's like no it's hanging in your wardrobe you just have to put it on put it on exactly. like do it now 
Like, it's just the way you said that was just so simple and empowering for people. And I'm sure, like, all the entrepreneurs listening would have an old version of their business, and it may be good, but they'd also have this new version, this, this vision of what it could be. And, and living out all that potential can sometimes seem overwhelming, but you just made it really simple. We just put it on. I love that, Kate. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, I interrupted you. Carry on. That's okay. <laughs> and you know what? In the Bible, the, it talks about a lot, a, lot, a lot of that. And I got an, another one, another um, version of the Bible that says, do not be anxious uh, about anything, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, lay your request be made known to God. That is um Philippians 4, 4, 6. Great. So it's talk about, you know, like, do not be anxious about the things that are happening, which we got to trust the Lord, you know, they got to tr uh, trust the Lord or whatever process we are, you know, um, yeah. that we are in our experience, you know? Yeah. Yep, that's yeah. good. That's just, yeah, hitting that stress thing again. Don't be anxious about anything. You can take it to God and, and take it to him in the form of a request, you know, just ask. Exactly. Just ask. Exactly. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> I'm not with this, Katie. Keep going. More. <laughs> yeah. Well, I have um, four steps uh, when it comes to, you know, I, for those of you that are interested in reducing your sugar craving, I got yeah. four steps. You know, the first step, first I wanted, I wanted to show you how I felt before the 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 first step and I will do one thing and then another day I will do one thing because there's so many information out there in the internet that tells you to do this and then to do that. And the first step that, that you have to you, you have to decide. That's the decided that you want to improve your health. Because it doesn't matter, you know, how many tips uh we we get from people from me or anybody you Sharon. Like if you don't make a decision about you know to improve our health, you know, gotta make a decision. I want to do this. I need to be committed. And I got, I just got to do it. I got to trust the Lord, you know, that I can do this, you know, decide this is, this is the first, I know it sounds very simple, but it's, it's, it's very key when, it, when, when you want to. I think it's just enormously important. Yeah. So if, if I'm listening to you and I am listening to you, what can I say about myself that will help me to make a decision? Do I just say I am a decision maker or I've made the decision or this is my decision? What's something that we can say that will reaffirm us, you know, achieve that first step so that we do make a decision? For me, it's, it's praying to God. You got to right. pray to God. What are the, the goals that you want to achieve? You know, if you want to improve your health, pray to God. God, give me the strength to do this. I want to be committed to do this. Give me the strength. I know I can do it on, on, on your name, Jesus. Please help me to do, to do this. And that's pretty much, you know, God is, without God, we can't do anything. Yes, it's good. Yeah. So so we say, we, we kind of make that decision in the form of a prayer. Say, God, yeah. I want to do this. I need your help, your strength to follow through on this decision. Exactly. And it doesn't matter. Like, you know, I know we have, you know, days that we don't want to do anything, just when I'm in a move to do anything, we just want to eat healthy. And I go, when you could, when you committed and you decided that you want to do, God will, you know, he will, he will give you the strength, like I shared before. Like you're committed, and it doesn't matter, you know, the way we feel. Sometimes I, I know, so I know I've been in your shoes. I know, you know, I, sometimes we don't want to do anything. Just want to, you know, just lay down and don't do anything. So, <laughs> so that's what I share. Like, the the first steps, you know, is to decide that you want to improve your health, that you you really want to do this. Great. So, what's step number two? So the thing number two is is a uh, plan for the start date. Today is Thursday, right? So we we want to start on Tuesday. For me, it was like I I I I do just I do it next week. I do it in a month. I would do it like in two weeks. You know, I would do it tomorrow. I start tomorrow, and then I I I I, I found myself, but I say I say uh, I'm gonna start tomorrow, and I and I don't because I'm not in the mood in the mood to do it. So you got we gotta have a plan. You know, I'm gonna start on Monday. I'm gonna do my, you know, I'm gonna do the cleaning on the on the on the pantry to, you know, all the food that are not healthy, you just get rid of or we'll put it apart. You know, I'm not a huge fan of throwing out food. I just, you know, keep it when I mean whenever like you, you need it. So, you know, have a plan, you know, to to go to the supermarket, 
you know, it's, it's very important, you know, um, breathe healthy, you know? Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Okay, so we've made a decision and we've got our start date. We've got a plan. What's next for us? What's step three? Well, before I give you the, 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 third, the third step, okay. is that is very important when it comes to, to sleep, like, like it doesn't matter, like I said, I said before, like I said before, I said before, it doesn't matter how many, how many, how though we're good, we got to start uh, first is you have to, you have to, you have to sleep for at least seven hours. I, I used to sleep only four hours because I had so many things and being entrepreneur and then, you know, <laughs> so many things going on. And then, yeah, like sleep is very, very important. I know we want to, you know, uh, do that when I want to achieve things, but sleeping is, is very important and nutrition and, you know, a stress, we got to manage, you know, a stress, you know, eliminate our, our triggers and our, we cannot control, you know, all the things, you know, that we, we go through. So we just got to, you know, eliminate triggers, you know, do some uh, exercise, you know, deep breathing, pray to God, do, go swimming. Yeah. That's good. So, and, yeah, and um, the, like I said before, like uh, one, the, the third step is, is to cut out, um, you, you know, uh, cut out back, you know, everything like you chips, you eat, you know, and not asking you know, you know to go on a diet, you know, I, I myself, I don't follow any diet, but I do, you know, eat healthy. One day if I want to eat, I want to eat a pizza, I will eat the pizza. So it's not like I said before, it's not about the probation. <laughs> It's a bio I'm sure you're the only person in our whole audience that has ever eaten pizza. <laughs> we all want to eat that. some pizza. When you get that smell, oh, yeah, so good. yeah. Like I'm not, I don't believe in the probation. Uh, like I said before, uh, about moderation. You know, if you follow, so you know, say that uh, again. No probation. It's moderation. It's not about the probation. It's about moderation. That's good. What does what does that mean? So no probation is like, you know, there's nothing that we completely eliminate. We can have. We do have to. We don't. We do have to 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 eliminate. Uh, but you know, like one day you wanted to do. You know, you wanted to eat that pizza that you really love. Like I guess yeah. before, I, no, I don't believe in uh, in, in deprivation. I, I I I do think that you have to eat healthy. You don't have to go one hour. Uh, uh, to exercise, you can go 20 minutes. I, I I do 20 minutes every day. It doesn't okay. matter how I feel. I do my 20 minutes. It doesn't matter if I fall down. It doesn't matter what's going on with the family. I need, I'm committed. I'm committed to do 20 minutes every day. That's good. I think, I think some people get confused between freedom and commitment. And they're like, no, I want to be free. I can do anything I like. I don't want to be tied into a commitment. But really, if you don't um, make a commitment, then in the long term, you lose your freedom, don't you? So if you, if you don't, you're free to make a commitment or not today. But if you don't use that freedom wisely, then you'll end up at a stage where you have no choice in the matter like you can end up in real pain there's consequences of not making that choice so I like okay. that you you know do the 20 minutes not saying you have to do an hour or three hours at the gym or anything you do the 20 minutes you do something that is sustainable on a daily basis that's I like exactly that. it's moderation exactly. yeah Exactly, and I want to share a little bit about uh, uh, about the food that we should avoid if we have, you know, if we want to have energy. And those are bread, juices, cereals, potato, fruit. I know it sounds like crazy because you know I'm not asking like what I shared before based on my experience, because I follow like a diet, like a, not a diet, but I follow you know I eat healthy during a Monday, Monday to Friday, but on Saturday or, or let's say once a week, you know I eat what I want, but what you will notice when you when you start to eliminate um those those food that I share, you you will you will start to you know to to feel you know a change on you know, your energy. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, and then when it comes to the food that we have to add, we have I don't know like um uh, that's what what I from what I experienced I like nuts you know like a salmon salad, you know some kind of protein you know like um I don't recommend like a 
a lot of protein because you know uh, from what I learned that protein make you sometimes make it make you tired oh. so yeah so that's what I I, 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 what I learned before and I, and I experienced that you know like um, you know you have to moderate a little bit of, of when it comes to protein okay well that's yeah. that's really interesting so um what sort of things do you think are holding back people from actually taking those steps I think self doubt is um is huge and uh, that holds people back that they don't believe. Oh my God, I'm doing I'm doing uh I'm doing exercise and I don't see results and you get discouraged, you know, because you're not seeing the results that you that you want. Like you you were doing your efforts, you're doing the right thing, and you don't see the results that you, that you are looking for. But I'm, I'm here to tell you that you can do things in the name of Jesus. And it doesn't matter the outcome, but we're, we're, we're children of God and we, whatever he He decided that we must do, we got to do it because we're all his children, you know? So if, if discouragement is holding you back, I think it's really important for our listeners to know that there is an antidote and that is, Katie Gonzalez, like Katie, yeah. she just gave us some amazing encouragement there. Yeah. And um, I just think that's so powerful because people do get so discouraged. Like, you know, I've had like a weight battle, I guess, probably my whole life. And so it's the thing that really gets me discouraged the most. But you are so encouraging about it it's it's a beautiful beautiful thing so did we get all four i know we got like got to decide is step one do you want to go through them two was so um decided to improve the whole plan for the study they start to cut back and the most important step yep three was number five yep what was number four it's it's accountability accountability you have to have Accountability. You need to have somebody by your side that give you, that give you, you know, um, uh, courage. That give you, uh, you can do this. That, this for me, this is the most important, you know, you know, step. That maybe you have a husband, you have a sister, you have a wife, you have a husband by your side. That we, we let's say, you can do it together. And yeah. we, you know, we, my husband helped me on, on on this process. So I say, you can do it. You can do this, and together. For me, that's that's really really key. Like you can have a friend. On Facebook or a neighbor, a sister, a brother. For for me, that's one of the most important steps is you know to have an accountability, somebody that is by your side, that helping you. That's somebody could be by phone. I mean, I know we got when we, we we love to interact with people, you know, in person, you know. But yep. if you don't have anybody like by your side, you know, chat with somebody, some friends on Facebook, whatever, and tell tell them if um I'm doing this. Uh, Please, can you help me? Can you give me courage? Can you call me to see how I'm doing? And, you know, give me, you know, uh, courage, you know, to do this. And, you know, and you can do it. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Because, I again, like, I think accountability is maybe the number one reason. I won't say it definitively, but it could be the number one reason that people don't come to Jesus. Because exactly. they don't want to have to be accountable to a God. They're like, no, I want to make my own decisions, you know. And and that that's a real enemy of your best, isn't it? Like obviously exactly. we believe that that being accountable to God and making Jesus your Lord allows you to step into your best life ever. Um, and a lot of people just, they don't, even achieve like one percent of their potential just because of that resistance to having an accountability to God, um, and so that's important in our eternal health exactly. and, our, and our eternal well-being. But you're saying that that is you know one of the number one things that could stop people from stepping into our physical health as well. Yes. So. Have you? What do we do if if we <laughs> if we haven't got someone on Facebook? How do we like? Can we work with you more closely? Or of course, yeah, no. of course, you can. Okay. Yeah, you can. You can um, message me on on Facebook. Or you know, like yeah, I can be. I can be your partner. You know, yeah, we can work together. You know, like 
yeah, you can call me. <laughs> yeah, I can I can be that that person. That, you know, if you don't have anybody, you know, you can just text me, and I'm, I'm always available for the for oh. our sisters and brothers. That's very cool. And if I wanted to like take the next step, is there like you mentioned that you work with other people? It sounds awesome. Like there's a whole panel of you know, doctors, and well, it's not just weight loss. It's yeah. the whole thing. Yeah. How how do I do that? How do I work with you and the team uh, well, on, on that? I uh, I host an event where I, I I brought together a panel of experts that you know they have a lot of experience, and I brought them all together, twenty one of them, and here you are, you're gonna have all the answers, everything about menopause, why are we not losing weight, uh, hormones. All kind of you know um, diseases like Hashimoto, Hashimoto's. I don't even know how to say that. Hashimoto's. I've got that. Hashimoto's. Thyroid. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So all the answers you know to your health, uh, to your weight loss, to your hormones, everything is in there. So I was tired of all the lies. Oh my God, you should do this. Like I said before, you should eat less and move more, and you're still doing that. You don't see the results. So. I, I brought together, you know, all these experts and they're going to help you, you know, overcome all, all any, any issues, health issues, weight loss issues, hormone issues that, that, that you have. And, you know, we can work together as a group and that's how, you know, um, we can, we can help you all, you know, as accountability and help you and whatever you want to sh shift when it comes to health and weight loss. So I was tired, even though it cost me a few thousand dollars, but, you know, um, today, if we if we um we, I made a, an agreement with um uh, with Sharon, and we, today you can get it for nine hundred ninety seven dollars. And this might not be for everybody, but it might be perfect for some of you. But you know, like um, I'm so grateful that to be here and that you give me the opportunity, Sister Sharon. That's so good, Katie. Because like I nine ninety seven might seem expensive to some people, but it is so not when you think about. The amount that you spend on food, like just this month, um, you know, some people would be spending that amount on takeaways and on groceries and all that, and and it's not doing them any good. So they're spending nine hundred and ninety-seven dollars on something that's not doing them any good. It's it's keeping them alive, but it's not getting them to a place where they have more energy, where they have less stress, where they're healthier. And and so it's it's not a lot of money at all that nine ninety seven yeah. is actually you know really amazing yeah. and a lot of people spend you know money on weight loss programs on gym memberships and, and even if they don't spend any money on all of those things they'll end up like I said I I've got Hashimoto's disease which wow. means that my thyroid doesn't function at all like the antibodies that you're supposed to have. It's like a level 60 and they did my blood work and I was more than 10 times that, like not just 10%, wow. like more than 10 times, like really, really bad shape. And so if you get into that position or you're you know, born with that um, condition, you spend thousands on doctors. <laughs> and, Absolutely. And so having a whole panel of specialists, did you say 21? See so twenty one. There are like uh, in, in different areas. One is on, uh, let's say like, let's say like yeah. seven to ten on health, but you know they work with different people with different you know issues. Yeah. So to get to like you know at, to have access to all of those twenty one specialists and mm -hmm. and working them together, like you've gone out, found all the right people, coordinated them organize them put them together in just one event exactly um, that's just so much value that you're offering to people i'm just really excited that we've found you yeah. <laughs> and, <laughs> and that we can provide that for all the listeners so do yeah. you have a link or um, is it best to find you on facebook or should i just um, put in a, a link in when i publish the podcast why not? I don't have I don't have the link right okay. now. Well, yeah, I but I can send it to you. Uh, uh, yeah. uh, um, you can put it below the video on on, on the podcast. Yeah, we will send yeah, people yeah. to you. I would love to send yeah. people to you because that sounds yeah. like you are transforming 
their lives in one of the most important areas. Like, let's face it, if our body doesn't work, nothing works. Like, you know, <laughs> a lot of people say you, your health is your wealth. Exactly. And it doesn't matter. You will give everything. If I... Yes. If, if I if I would give everything for my health, you know, it doesn't matter if you sleep in the street, it doesn't matter. Your health, yeah. you you being alive, and you know, it's, it's the most important thing. You know, God yeah. first, and you know, I I do believe like uh, we're rich. You know, when we're healthy, yeah. we're alive every day. I, I say thank you, Lord, for another day. We're rich today. It doesn't matter if you don't have the material things. We're rich. I say we're we're rich every every day when I wake up and I see my neighbors. I say we're rich today. Yeah. They say yes, yeah. we are. In the name of Jesus. It is, yeah. Another day. Yeah. I want people that are listening to this, if you have ever been in the back of an ambulance or in a hospital bed or even just sick in your own bed, to think about how horrible that experience is. Um, yes. Because sometimes we think, you know, we want someone to give us something extra to kind of add to our lives but often it's just someone taking away from us the Absolutely. the burden that we've lived with for so long or the battle that we've lived with for so long um you know jesus said my burden is you know my, my yoke is light my burden is easy like he actually takes away the heaviness and the that. So I want you to think about that time when you were lying in bed sick or even when you were like, you know, wanting to eat healthy and you were facing a sugar craving and you felt like it was overwhelming you and you couldn't conquer it. Um, just imagine what your life would be like if you didn't have that in your life anymore. <laughs> yes. Absolutely. How freeing would that be? Yes. Absolutely. I know we have a few minutes, uh, um, Sharon, but I wanted to share about, you know, uh, uh, when it comes to your body, you got to love your body. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter your weight. It doesn't matter. The, just imagine how many, how many, how many things your body does for you. You know, the God, yeah. God gave you that body. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter the way, it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter the way you look. You got to love your body. That's the, the body that God gave you. You got to love it. You got to love yourself. Yeah. And more when you are in Jesus Christ, you know. That's good, Katie. Yeah, I was I was in a hospital bed once. I had busted both my ankles at the same time. And <laughs> the hospital chaplain came and she prayed for me and she prayed that my brave and beautiful body that the Lord had given me uh, yes. would be healed. And I was just like, what? <laughs> Do yes. you not have eyes, girl? I don't have a brave and beautiful body. I've like got a busted body. I can't even move. And she said, no, exactly. you just think of all the things that your body is doing for you right now. It is serving you. It is digesting food for you. It is pumping blood with nutrients around your body. It is helping you think. It is helping you speak. It, you know, all of those things, your body is serving you every second, every minute, every hour of the day. And we very rarely stop to go, Oh, thank you, my brave and beautiful body. Like, yes. <laughs> we very rarely stop saying, God, you've given me this extraordinary mechanism that, yes. that serves me every day. So yeah. I love that. That's awesome. Look, we're we're running out of time. So <laughs> I, I could talk to you all day. I have so enjoyed our chat, Katie. Thank you for making the time in New York uh, to come and serve us. Um, it's just been wonderful to chat to you. And I hope, you know, I really encourage and recommend everyone that's listening, you can love your body and you can lose the stress out of your life and, and have more energy and feel better and, and like really invest in the wealth that is your health. So I encourage people to do that. Thank you again, Katie. It's been awesome. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much, uh, Sister Sharon. And um, uh, for those of you, I, I pray to God um, to send you, you know, health, wealth, and everything you wish, wish for. So God bless everybody watching and listening, and I love you all. <laughs>
Amen. And if you uh, have enjoyed this episode, I encourage you to go to Bible Hacks on Apple Podcasts or wherever you listen to your podcasts uh, or watch on YouTube. Leave a comment, leave a review, uh, let Katie know how much she has helped you. Um, give us five stars, whatever you think we're worth in a rating. And that is really a big compliment to us. So you can do that for us. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much for having me, Sharon. I love you. Thank you so much for the opportunity. Thanks, Katie.